All right, The Great Search is brought to you by Adafruit and DigiKey. Thank you so much, DigiKey, for fueling this Great Search. Lady Ada, what is The Great Search for this week? Well, we're a really big fan of this one. Uh, so we got a request on Discord doing our last Great Search. Uh, and Mile High, 420, okay, anyways. Uh, question for Lady Ada. I would love to see DigiKey search on fans. I'm using an Ender 3 Pro. 240 PSU and looking for a quieter replacement for the 24 volt motherboard and hot end fans with comparable specs. What is considered quiet? Anything under 24 decibels, my goal is to document it and to use as few voltage regulators as possible. Okay, well, um, the good news is DigiKey has a ton of fans because they're fans of fans. And um, there's a lot of them and it sounds like, you know, there's, there's a couple fans you want, but we're gonna focus on the 24 volt hot end fan, because we're gonna do one item and then you know, we always do another one later. Um, so, you know, two, two questions you had was, what's quiet? Well, it really depends on how ambient, you know, loudly your, your environment is. Uh, 24 volt, 24 decibels or 22 decibels or less is, is quieter. Um, you're gonna have a trade off though. You know, as fans get quieter, um, they get more expensive and they have less airflow. It's just, this is how it is. If you want a lot of airflow, it's gonna be really loud. Big fans are loud. Um, you can make them quieter by spending more to get good quality bearings, but at some point you, you can't get much quieter than, than some le uh, limit. Um, the next question you had was, uh, you know, how to do it without voltage regulators? Because it sounds like, you know, if you want to use a 24 volt fan or a five volt fan, you'd have to convert the 24 volt control signal or power signal down to 12. But, um, you know, checking out DigiKey, I think that we can find you a lot of 24 volt options. So let's go to my computer and take a look. Um, so first up, let's just type in fan. Uh, so there's a lot of different types of fans. You can see there's even like AC fans and, you know, parts for fans and heat sinks and stuff. But we want BLDC, uh, brushless DC fan. And this is like, 99.9% .9 of all fans you're going to see in electronics. Um, you know, we use them for like a Raspberry Pi cooling. People use them for power supplies. People use them for, you know, computers, whatever. Uh, so you can see there's about 19,000 different options. Um, since we're looking for a replacement part and we're not uh, doing a specification, like we're not buying a part to use it a product. We're using looking just to replace it. I'm going to look for only active and in stock items which is still, you know, 4,000 different fans. Um, so the next thing that was the most important, I think, is the voltage. You know, if you don't want to use a regulator, you're really stuck with the voltage of the fan. Um, sometimes you can use slightly different sized fans, but the voltage is the voltage is the voltage. So um, you've got a 24 volt uh, DC system. You said 24 V. So let's make sure that we're selecting a 24 volt fan. So still about 1300 options and you can, what I really like is for fans, you know, the physicality of them is so important um, because usually there's not a lot of electronics. Maybe there's a tachometer, uh, maybe there's like a PWM signal, but for the most part, you know, it's power and ground, maybe, you know, one, one data line out. So looking at these fans, you get a good idea. So these are axial fans where the air is coming through. These are what most people think of as fans. Um, there's also blower type fans and I'd like to show you because I, I was looking at different 3D printers and some 3D printers use blower fans, not axial fans. So I thought I'd show you a blower fan looks like this, right? The air is, is it's still spinning, right? You can see the round area where there's the, the spinning fan, but the air is curved out to, to point, uh, you know, and be directed in, in a certain location. So when I looked at um, you know, Prusa hot air fans, they use a blower fan. Um, not as big as this, some of these are like kind of massive, but they use a blower fan to really direct the air specifically to a spot. These are often used in computers and servers where you want to blow air over a CPU to, to get, you know, you're not, you, you don't have any air above or below to push, but if you do it this way, you can whoosh air over a hot thing and out of venting. So often, you know, when you see venting slots on the back or side of, you know, computers or um, devices or uh, 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 laptops or um, panel mount computers, you know, um, servers, that's what you're going to see. But we don't want blower. We want axial. 
So I'm gonna do, it's just dual, not dual, but we'll still, we'll still pick two axial. Okay, so then what's interesting is that, you know, what you were asking for is a quiet fan. That was really important. And you can, um, luckily, because one of the things I really like about DigiKey Search is that they have the specifications and they picked really good specifications. So noise is a spec that you can sort on. You know, sometimes you buy fans and you can sort by price and that's it, or maybe size. Um, oh, right, size was the other one. Um, so uh, one last thing before we go to, um, to noise. So I looked up the fan that you're thinking of and it's 40 millimeters by 40 millimeters square. Um, like fans come in like every single size, but if we go down and you'll see, you kind of have to like hunt and peck. There are two options. One is 40 millimeters by 40 millimeters and the other is 40.1 millimeter square. Why they point did point one, I don't know, but you know, it'll probably fit, right? Cause it's so close. So we're going to go there. Um, 50 by 50 is also very popular. Um, not used in this particular case that this person's looking at, but I've noticed that 50 by 50 is a very generic size. Okay, so we're down to 117 options. So now, all of the fans that we're talking about are 24 volt, they're the right size. Um, I actually don't know how many wires you need for the fans in this 3D printer, so that you'll have to look up. I, you know, I just don't own one, so look, is it three wires or two wires? But uh, besides that, um, let's sort by noise. So you'll see here, you can see the noise in DBA, and it can be incredibly loud, you know, 52 dB, which is like really loud, uh, or 21 dB. If we sort by noise, bottom up, you'll note that, you know, at 14 dB, which is the lowest you can get, which is like whisper silent, it's quite silent, you're talking about a 4200 uh, RPM um, fan. And if you, you know, actually I was curious, I was like, what if you sort bottom down, like the most loud, the loudest one is going to be 1720 or 1800. And you'll see that the, um, the biggest thing that may, you know, you might have to balance is the, uh, the noise in the CFM, which is the cubic feet per minute, more cubic feet per minute, more cooling power. So, you know, what is, what is it that you have to find out? What is the minimum you need for the CFM? Again, I don't know. And I think it sort of depends also what kind of things you're printing. Are you using a heated bed or what kind of extrusion? Um, but if you're just going for noise, the quietest one is 14 dB. It's 1400 RPM. It's five CFM. There are at 18 dB. There's two 18 dB options here. Um, and these are going to be about six CFM. So you've got three good options. You know, this one, uh, here is five and these are six CFM. Uh, this one is two wire. This is two wire and this one is three. So, you know, again, it depends on whether you need a tachometer output, but if it's just a, you know, if you just need two wires, this is a great option. This is, you know, about 10 bucks, uh, $12 per. Uh, you know, it's a nice thin fan. Um, looks like it's got plenty of mounting holes and you can also even check out the, uh, the 3d so you can make sure like, is the thickness what you expect for your fan? But uh, I think this would be a good option. So try it out. And there's uh, a lot in stock. This is a very popular fan. I think a lot of people are looking for quiet 24 volt, 40 millimeter fans. So, uh, I hope you're a fan of this uh, 3D printing hot end replacement fan. Try it out, let us know if it works for you. And that's great, Church. Where 